Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 3, Milk Base. Let's learn about Divide Simple Fractions and Mixed Fractions. Lesson 1. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Hi kids! For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about Divide simple fractions and mix fractions. For most essential learning competencies, divide simple fractions and mix fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to divide simple fractions and mix fractions. In dividing fraction is simply multiplying the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction or number. What is reciprocal? The reciprocal of a fraction is found by flipping its numerator and denominator. Make it sure that the dividend and the divisor is always written in its fractional form. Simplify or write your answer in lowest term through cancellation method. Let's study example number 1. Find the quotient of 8 ninths and 2 thirds. Here is the solution. When you say quotient, it is the answer to division. So that means 8 ninths divided by 2 thirds. All you have to do is first Change the division sign to multiplication. Rewrite the dividend, which is the first fraction, 8 ninths. Then change the division sign to multiplication sign. And for the second fraction, which is 2 thirds, get the reciprocal of the divisor only. So that means you are going to flipping its numerator and denominator. So 2 thirds, the reciprocal is 3 halves. Next is, apply cancellation. Cancel, 8 and 2. 8 and 2 are both divisible by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Another pair of numerator and denominator is 9 and 3. They are both divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Next, multiply the numerators and then denominators. 4 times 1 equals 4. And 3 times 1 equals 3. 4 thirds. 4 thirds is improper fraction. Change this to mixed number. Or, simplify or write your answer in lowest term. So the lowest term of 4 thirds is 7 and 1 thirds. So this is the final answer. And now, let us do learning task 1. Find the quotient of the given fractions below. Write your solution in your notebook. Let's do number 1. 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths. First, change the division sign to multiplication sign. Rewrite 7 eighths, then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Times... Then get the reciprocal of 3 fourths. The reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. And then apply cancellation. Cancel 8 and 4. They are both divisible by 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Next, multiply the numerators and denominators. 7 times 1 equals 7. And 2 times 3 equals 6. And then simplify 7, 6. Change this to mixed fraction. 7 divided by 6 equals 1, which is the whole number, and the remainder is the numerator, which is 1. Then copy the denominator 6. So the answer is 1 and 1, 6. Number 2. 
7, 6 divided by 5, 6. Let's do the same step. Rewrite the first fraction. 7, 6. Then change the division sign to multiplication sign. And then get the reciprocal of the second fraction, 5, 6. The reciprocal is 6 fifths. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 6 and 6. They are both divisible by 6. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. And 6 divided by 6 equals 1. Then multiply. 7 times 1 equals 7. And 1 times 5 equals 5. So this is improper fraction. Change this to mixed number or simplify. 7 divided by 5 equals 1 and 2 fifths. The answer is 1 and 2 fifths. Number 3. 5 twelfths divided by 1 over 60. Rewrite 5 twelfths. Then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then get the reciprocal of the second fraction. 1 over 60, the reciprocal is 60 over 1. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 12 and 60. They are both divisible by 12. 12 divided by 12 equals 1. 60 divided by 12 equals 5. And then multiply. 5 times 5 equals 25. And 1 times 1 equals 1. 25 over 1. Or 25. So this is the final answer. Number 4. 12 fifths divided by 1 6. Rewrite 12 fifths. Change the division sign to multiplication sign and get the reciprocal of the second fraction. 1 6, the reciprocal is 6 over 1. So there is no cancellation for this fraction. Let's proceed to multiplication. Multiply the numerators and denominators. 12 times 6 equals 72 and 5 times 1 equals 5. 72 fifths. Change this to mixed fraction. 72 divided by 5 equals 14. The remainder is 2. And copy the denominator 5. So the answer is 14 and 2 fifths. In dividing mixed number by another mixed number, we have to consider the following steps. First, change mixed number to improper fractions. Second, get the reciprocal of the divisor and change the division sign to multiplication. Third, multiply the numerators and denominators separately. And finally, simplify or change improper fraction into a mixed number. Let's see example number 2. What is the quotient of 8 and 3 fifths is divided by 3 and 3 fourths? So here is the solution. 8 and 3 fifths is divided by 3 and 3 fourths. First is, change mixed numbers to improper fractions. Multiply the whole number and the denominator. 8 times 5 equals 40. Then add the numerator. Plus 3 equals 43. Then copy the denominator 5. Next is change the second mixed fraction to improper fractions. 3 times 4 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15. Then copy the denominator 4. Next step is change division sign to multiplication. Rewrite 43 over 5. Then change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. So the reciprocal of 15 over 4 is 4 over 15. Next, multiply the numerators and denominators. 43 times 4 equals 172. Then 5 times 15 equals 75. Next step is change improper fraction into a mixed number. So 172 divided by 75 equals 2 and 22 over 75. So this answer is the lowest term. And now let's proceed to learning task 2. Find the quotient of the given fractions below. 
write your solution in your notebook. Number 1. 12 and 3 eighths divided by 2 and 3 fourths. First, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 12 times 8 plus 3 equals 99 over 8. Second mixed fraction. 2 times 4 plus 3 equals 11 over 4. Next is, change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then, get the reciprocal of 11 over 4, which is 4 over 11. Then, apply cancellation method. Cancel 99 and 11. They are both divisible by 11. 99 divided by 11 equals 9. And 11 divided by 11 equals 1. Cancel 8 and 4. They are both divisible by 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Now, multiply. 9 times 1 equals 9. And 2 times 1 equals 2. Then, simplify. 9 divided by 2 equals 4 and 1 halves. The answer is 4 and 1 halves. Number 2. 9 and 2 fifths divided by 1 and 3 tenths. Change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 9 times 5 plus 2 equals 47 over 5. Next, 1 times 10 plus 3 equals 13 over 10. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then get the reciprocal of 13 over 10 which is 10 over 13. And then apply cancellation. Cancel 5 and 10. They are divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Then multiply. 47 times 2 equals 94. 1 times 13 equals 13. And then change this to mixed number. 94 divided by 13 equals 7 and 3, 13. The answer is 7 and 3 thirteenths. Number 3. 7 and 1 fourths divided by 1 and 7 eighths. 7 times 4 plus 1 equals 29 over 4. 1 times 8 plus 7 equals 15 over 8. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then get the reciprocal of 15 over 8 which is 8 over 15. Apply cancellation. Cancel 4 and 8. They are both divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Multiply. 29 times 2 equals 58. And 1 times 15 equals 15. This is improper fraction. Change this to mixed fraction. 58 divided by 15 equals 3. And 13 over 15. So the answer is 3 and 13 over 15. Number 4. 8 and 5 6 divided by 2 and 1 fourths. 8 times 6 plus 5 equals 53 over 6. 2 times 4 plus 1 equals 9 fourths. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then get the reciprocal of 9 fourths, which is 4 ninths. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 6 and 4 and both divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Then multiply. 53 times 2 equals 106. 3 times 9 equals 27. This is improper fraction. Change this to mixed number. 106 divided by 27 equals 3 and 25 over 27. So the answer is 3 and 25 over 27. Number 5. 5 and 4 sevenths divided by 2 and 10 twenty ones. 5 times 7 plus 4 equals 39 over 7. 2 times 21 plus 10 equals 52 over 21. Change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 52 over 21 which is 
21 over 52. Apply cancellation. Cancel 39 and 52. They are both divisible by 13. 39 divided by 13 equals 3. And 52 divided by 13 equals 4. Cancel 7 and 21. They are both divisible by 7. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 21 divided by 7 equals 1. Then multiply. 3 times 1 equals 9. 1 times 4 equals 4. 9 fourths. Change this to mixed fraction to get the lowest term. 9 divided by 4 equals 2 and 1 fourths. The answer is 2 and 1 fourths. Number 6. 12 and 5 eighths divided by 3 and 19 over 24. 12 times 8 plus 5 equals 101 over 8. 3 times 24 plus 19 equals 91 over 24. Change division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 91 over 24, which is 24 over 91. Apply cancellation. Cancel 8 and 24. They are both divisible by 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Then multiply. 101 times 3 equals 303. And 1 times 91 equals 91. 303 over 91. Change this to mixed fraction or simplify. 303 divided by 91 equals 3 and 30 over 91. So this is the answer. Number 7. 7 and 5, 6 divided by 3 and 1 halves. 7 times 6 plus 5 equals 47 over 6. 3 times 2 plus 1 equals 7 halves. Change division sign to multiplication sign. Then get the reciprocal of 7 halves, which is 2 sevenths. Apply cancellation. Cancel 6 and 2. They are both divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Multiply. 47 times 1 equals 47. And 3 times 7 equals 21. 47 over 21 is improper fraction. Change this to mixed fraction or simplify. 47 divided by 21 equals 2 and 5, 21. So the answer is 2 and 5, 21. And for number 8, 14 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 2 ninths. 14 times 3 plus 2 equals 44 over 3. 2 times 9 plus 2 equals 20 over 9. Change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 20 over 9, which is 9 over 20. Apply cancellation. Cancel 44 and 20. They are both divisible by 4. 44 divided by 4 equals 11, and 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Cancel 3 and 9. They are both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Then multiply. 11 times 3 equals 33. 1 times 5 equals 5. 33 over 5 is improper fraction. Change this to mixed fraction or simplify. 33 divided by 5 equals... 6 and 3 fifths. The answer is 6 and 3 fifths. For learning task 3, solve the given problems. Number 1. A cook has 2 and 3 fourths pounds of ground beef. How many quarter pound burger can he make? 2 and 3 fourths pounds of ground beef divided by 1 fourths, which is The quarter pound burger. First, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. Two times four plus three equals eleven over four. Then change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the second fraction. The reciprocal of one fourth is four over one. Apply cancellation. Cancel four and four. They are both divisible by four. 
4 divided by 4 equals 1 and 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Next is multiply. 11 times 1 equals 11 and 1 times 1 equals 1. 11 over 1 can be written into whole number or 11. This is the answer. Number 2. A child needs to take 1 6 tablespoon of medicine per day in 4 equal doses. How much medicine is in each dose? 1 6, which is the tablespoon of medicine per day, divided by 4. 4 equal doses. 4 can be written also in 4 over 1. First, rewrite 1 6. Then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then the reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 over 4. So there is no cancellation for these fractions. Proceed now to multiplication. 1 times 1 equals 1 and 6 times 4 equals 24. The answer is 1 over 24. And for number 3, how many 5-6 cup salt shakers can be filled from 24 cups of salt? Here is the given. 24 cups of salt is divided by 5-6 cup. 24 can also be written in 24 over 1. Rewrite 24. Then change the division sign to multiplication. And then get the reciprocal of 5 over 6 which is 6 over 5. Then multiply. Multiply 24 times 6. 24 times 6 equals 144. Then copy the denominator 5. 144 over 5. This is improper fraction. Change this to mixed fraction. 144 over 5 equals 28 and 4 fifths. The answer is 28 and 4 fifths. And for learning task 4, read each statement. Write the word true if the statement is correct. And if the statement is wrong, write the words that makes the statement incorrect. Number 1. The denominator of any whole number is 1. Is it true? Correct. The answer is true. Number 2. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, simply interchange the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. Is it true? Yes. The answer is true. Number 3. There is no need to change the division sign into multiplication sign if you are going to divide fraction by another fraction. Is it true? No, it is not true. So the wrong words are There is no need to change the division sign into multiplication sign. This is wrong. There is need to change the division sign into multiplication sign. Number 4. There is always a need to write answers in simplest form. Is it true? Yes, the answer is true. Number 5. In dividing fractions, you'll need to get the reciprocal of the given divisor before you multiply the numerators and the denominators. Is it true? Yes, the answer is true. Number 6. The reciprocal of 8 and 1 fourths is 8 fourths. Is it true? Let's see if it is true. First, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 8 times 4 plus 1 equals 33 over 4. So the reciprocal of 33 over 4 is 4 over 33. So that means 8 fourths is wrong. Because the reciprocal of 8 and 1 fourths is 4 over 33. Number 7. The product of 3 fourths and another fraction is 5 fourths. The other fraction is 3 fifths. Is it true? Let's see. The product of 3 fourths and another fraction is 5 fourths. What is another fraction? So the other fraction is 3 fifths. So that means multiply 3 fourths times 3 fifths. 
3 times 3 equals 9 and 4 times 5 equals 20. So this is the product of 3 fourths and 3 fifths, 9 over 20. So that means 5 fourths is wrong because the product is 9 over 20. And for number 8, one half of pizza will be divided among three pupils. Each pupil receives one six. Is it true? Let's see. One half of pizza will be divided among three pupils. One halves divided by three. First, rewrite one half, then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then the whole number three is also can be written in three over one. So the reciprocal of 3 over 1 is 1 thirds. Now multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1 and 2 times 3 equals 6. So the answer is 1 6. So that means the answer is true. Each pupil receives 1 6. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!